But while I was at ABX, the day came when he fired Shelly Grafman told me to fire Steve Dahl. Oh, my. Steve Dahl and I were, were best friends. Steve Dahl and I were, were, we were at one point, I mean, we were just, we did everything together. He and another guy that came to ABX, which nobody got, went on to be a commentator for NBC Sports, Joel Myers. Yeah. And Joel Myers was big and is still the voice of the Los Angeles Lakers. He's got a huge voice. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> and so it's an important part of my career was just that. So I've got to tell you that at one point, Grafman told me, go in there and fire Steve Dahl. Because he was eating his cereal on the radio. <laughs> See, morning day, morning at that time, morning was all nights. Right. People weren't getting into music until at about 10 a.m. in the morning. So if you did the morning show, you were hogtied. You, nobody cared. Right. You know, there was no reason for you to do sports, weather, traffic, uh, you, unless you did it on your own to sort of like see if you could compete. Well, Dahl came in from California, hired by Shelley Grafman, and. Dahl started, and what he did in, in California, in Sacramento, was he ate cereal and he became the guy who was always eating food on the air. So he did that. He ate, he'd do cereal. And he did a couple of other things that, that people were really starting to like. He really was moving the meter in the morning. Right. And so by the time Shelley Grafman had had it with him, the listeners had not. The listeners were starting to really embrace this guy. So Shelley said, go in the room and fire this guy. I can't stand it. Stand it anymore. All he talks about is eating a cereal and wanting to sleep with Linda Ronstadt. He did not say it like that, by the way. No. And he did. He also he always said Linda Ronstadt, Linda Ronstadt. And it's kingdom to just be with Linda Ronstadt for a night in the Cub Scout uniform. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, and I knew that the doll was, I mean, I'm serious now. I knew that doll was going to be big. And I said, I think you're making a big mistake. And I remember going to W. He said, "I'm going to W." Somebody, I I took him for a boat ride. I remember I had that that uh, go fast boat. Yeah, and I grabbed him and took him for a boat ride, and we went out and had a great time. And because I was told, you know him, don't you? And I said, "Yeah, I know him." And he uh, and they said, "Well, we, we would love to have him here." And so we went out and we went for a boat ride and we put the thing together and I brought him back in and Walsh hired him and the, the next thing was, yeah. was history. And he was gone. He was gone oh. like that. And I and I, I to this day, it's the biggest mistake maybe in the history of Detroit radio. The only other one was made by W4, however, letting Howard Stern go. 